So we had um, we had Lesko. That's it. Ago. We had it was, it was sitting right on that chair. He told us a little story. Um, he basically said in 2007, Estonia game. England were playing Estonia, mm. and at half time, Rio Ferdinand decides to come off because his back's hurting him, mm. and he looks at Lesko and says, um, "Enjoy, you, enjoy." But apparently your back weren't hurting you. You just want to give Lesko a chance to play. Is yeah, that true? That, yeah, because I know what it's like to be Jolion in that position. Like you're desperate to get on. Plus I had a game on the weekend I wanted to be fit for as well. So like I, 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 I was quite aware of stuff like that to be fair as a player. And listen, you, you can't ever put into words what it feels like to play for England. So to see an ex-man do it and like you pass the torch a little bit like that was like, I, I, I was definitely aware of that type of thing. You know what I mean, and plus I had Alex, Alex Ferguson saying, "If you play more than forty-five minutes, you're dead." <laughs> oh, so you, we didn't know that part of the story. See how there's so many different contexts. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Because to me, it seemed like just Rio was like, you know what? Obviously, he was in your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Alex Ferguson was also in your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, for, for certain games, etc. But yeah, but like first, it was like I know that. Jolien sitting there, like, and he, he can get, he's got a chance to get on. Because mm. you know what yeah. happened to me, and why it made me like this and made me think like this. Mm. I was at the World Cup in '98. I was like 18, 19 years old, and Glenn Hoddle said to me, "Rio, get ready to go on." And it was like about five, ten minutes to go in one of the games, and Paul Lintz went down with a little niggle and pretended that he had something wrong with him, and then he got brought off for a midfielder, so I never got to go on. And I sat, I thought, rah, Incy man, I used to love you as a kid as well. Like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. Devastated. And I didn't get to play in the World Cup, in that, in that World Cup. I went, but I never got, I got a new substitute and I had a, a chance. But he wasn't aware of what was going on on the side, but he was just like, killed my chance. So I, when, I, when I saw situations like that with Jolien coming about, I, I was always quite aware of what happened to me. Yeah, he seemed quite grateful. Hmm. It's a good move. I think it's a good move and it shows hmm. that. He owes you, man. Thinking. He owes you. No, he does, he does. Yeah. What Jolien you owes me. I don't know, yeah, what, what can this sort do for you right now? I don't know. I have to figure it out. I don't know, like, give him a login for Netflix? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, could give, he could give me an under-21 cap now if I wanted it. He's a 21 coach, isn't it? Under-21 yeah. coach for England. Oh, yeah. Would you do that? Just play for under-21, just for like a game? Yeah, if I could now, like, just go and play a quick Huddleston game. does it. Yeah, yeah, he does it for Man United. Yeah, just, ah, that was great. I just see him coming on. I was like, yeah, what is mad. going on here? Well, it's, it's a thing now, isn't it? Like, you've got Spearing. I think Jay Spearing was doing it yeah, in Liverpool. Liverpool. Um, Paul McShane was doing it at United before Tom Hardiston. So I think it's a thing to give the younger players experience and talk them through moments and that. It's good. Mm.